Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. We have a KitchenAid dishwasher. The complaint on it is that it's not cleaning properly. First thing we're going to do, just turn the unit on, just select the normal cycle, hit start, let it fill with water. That way we can verify that everything is functioning as it should. So we'll go ahead and let this fill and then let's just start washing. The complaint was that it's not cleaning properly primarily the upper rack. First thing that I'll check is the water level. Make sure that we have enough water in there to clean appropriately. So we let it fill up to where it was gonna to start to wash. Remove the lower basket so we can see everything a little easier. And first thing we wanted to check was the water level. This is our float here. And we have plenty of water up here by the float. So that basically lets me know that we have enough water in there. So that can't be the problem. So what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and tear into the pump and see if we can locate any kind of debris or anything that might be clogging that up. To complete this repair, you'll need channel locks, a flathead screwdriver, a number 15 Torx, and a number 20 Torx. So to get in the pump, first thing we need to take off is the lower wash arm. Uh, there's a threaded piece right here with a tab on it. We're gonna grasp that to hold it, and then spin the wash arm counterclockwise to remove it. And it lifts right off. Next, we're going to have to do is remove this little arm that goes to the back that drives water to the upper spray arm. There's a tab here. We're going to lift up and rotate it clockwise. And it just kind of pops up off right like this. We can remove both of these pieces. And there is a little washer, nylon washer here. It stays on that. So we'll take that out. Now with that out, we have our pump exposed, and there are some screws. There's one, two, three, and four. So we're going to go ahead, they're all Torx. Go ahead and loosen those up. And those are our number 20 Torx. Now with those loosened up, we can go ahead and grasp this pump. Just going to wiggle it, pull it off. Take that out to the other side. Now what we're going to do is, I'm actually going to shut the dishwasher, hit the cancel button to empty out this water, just to make it easier for me to get down here with that into the sump. Now we can see inside the sump here, you see there's all kinds of food and debris in there right now. There's one other screw in there, and it's a 15 Torx, and it's located over in this area here. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. With that out, now we can kind of use like a flathead screwdriver. There's another cover that's going to come off. Oh, I'm sorry, I did forget another screw. There's another 15 torques right here. So we'll take that one out as well. So this cover comes off. And then down in here, this cover right here is going to have to come off. off. Now with that off we can actually see inside the sump. And here, here's our chopper assembly. It's intact but you can see the grate is completely covered which is going to prevent any kind of water from flowing through. So basically this guy here just needs a good cleaning and then we can reassemble and everything should be fine from here on out. Okay so we're going to start cleaning out the sump. And what I did, I took the chopper assembly out which goes right in here. I took that out. I'm going to bring that over to the sink, clean that off real well, clean up any of the loose debris that I can, and then we'll go ahead and start reassembling. So now that we got most of the debris cleaned out of here, we'll just go through and make sure all the big pieces are out with our hand. Now we're going to put our chopper assembly back in. Now this will be the most difficult part, because you have the little gears on the back that match up with the gears that are in here in the motor, but you can see it has a cutout on it here that has to fit down into a little seam down here. So, a lot of times it takes quite a few tries until you get it in there right, but once you do, you'll know that it's in there. So we have our chopper assembly back in place, so we can go ahead and just start to reassemble. We got our cover. Okay. We'll go on first. Just, once you get it lined up, it'll just press right down. The other cover, same thing. 
And we'll put in our two number 15 torques that we took out earlier. You don't want to over tighten these. It's all plastic, you'll strip it out. Alright, so that's installed. Then we can go ahead and put our pump cover back in. Now we'll just sit in, it only fits in one way. Now these ones here have the number 20 torques. And once again, we don't want to over tighten. So we're going to take our center uh, bar arm that we took out, it's keyed, it's got three tabs on it, you can see one, two, and three, they correspond with one, two, and three, you got to start it kind of on an angle, drop that center piece in, it goes down, it countersinks in here, while we're holding this so it doesn't pop out, we're going to reach to the back, grab our two tubes, and line them up, while we kind of twist it back, all in one motion and then it kind of snaps into place back here so as we twist that arm back like so it all locks in last step is to take our spray arm just going to set it on top of that piece here with the tab grab our interlocks to hold that tab and then we're just going to screw it back on it's a standard thread so we're going to go clockwise until it gets tight you don't want to over tighten it or it's all plastic so we have everything reassembled. Only thing that's not in there is our lower rack. I'm going to put it back together. What we're going to do to give us an idea of if we have it clean or not, we're going to go ahead and just take a bolt, place it into the upper rack upright. Since we can't see in the dishwasher to verify the water is moving, we'll use that. Go ahead and turn the dishwasher on. We're going to let it fill with water. We'll let it spray for a few minutes. Then we'll open the dishwasher, look in that bowl, and make sure that we're getting water all the way up to the top. So our dishwasher's been running for a few minutes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just pull that top drawer out. And you see our bowl we put in there. It's filled to the brim with water. So now we know we're getting sufficient water throughout the unit. We've cleared out that pump and cleared the, the screen so we can allow the water to flow through properly. Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.